<laughs> All right, so how much of that was true? Uh, of the, the, the guy peeing? The guy peeing I did see one. a guy peeing in an alley, <coughs> and he sure did ask me to <laughs> smile. Um, and I didn't really know where to take that for Guys a very long are time. nuts, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I don't even think I have the worst stories. Um, some of my friends have better ones. Really? Yeah, I don't know if I could pull one off the top of my head. One <laughs> of my friends has something about, like, a guy telling her about the Hulk's nipples. Okay. I don't even remember, like, how <laughs> that would come up in conversation. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and uh, I don't necessarily blame them. I think just loneliness makes you kind of weird and yeah. forget how to address a human being. That's odd, though. Yeah, that'll always stand out in my mind. It's a real treat seeing that guy in the alleyway. So your, your comedy, do you, um, I, I know you incorporated that, um, you know, real life. Do you want to put a message out there? I mean, I, I liked what you did because uh, part of it was, you know, how creepy it is for a girl in the middle of the night. And, you know, it, and that's, that's not a comedy bit I've seen before. That's not something that I've seen women talk about before. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just not uh, in sync. I mean, I think <laughs> it might be, but it tends to be put in a different light. Because I think the one, the only thing that I did differently is suggest that rather than raping me, he wants to marry me. <laughs> uh, and I think that's <laughs> he, he the only thing actual, that, yeah, yeah. That, that's how he just talks to women. Is, he really wants a relationship. Yeah. <laughs> um, but for the fact that I'm being in his alley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't, uh, I don't really know if I have any like message per se. I just, I always try and put perspectives out that you're not right. Like, nobody's <laughs> right about their opinion. Uh, that's why, like, the bit that I have about atheism is one of my favorites, actually, because I don't think people make fun of atheism as nope. often as uh, they could. Because <laughs> it's easier to make fun of Christianity. It's, yeah, yeah. it's easy, and to me, that's kind of a cop-out. And, uh, and also, like, I know people who, like I said, I know people who are religious, and, like, I see it help them in their life. So why am I going to sit here and you know, mm -hmm. take a shit on something that <laughs> makes you happy. Like, I don't want you to do that to me. Right. And, um, yeah, uh, I guess, yeah, the only, the only lesson I would ever have for the world is just, you might be wrong. Yeah, <laughs> give it, uh, <laughs> that's, 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 that's a great that's message, it, yeah, you know? that's Think about it one more time, just, you know, say, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, that's, <laughs> so. I like that, I like that. So, you want to be a comic, um, it's 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 a rough gig, you, you know. It's a rough gig. Everybody, oh, I know. Yeah, and people are moving here to Denver to get into this scene, and this is this is this is one of the best scenes in the country. It is, but it's one of the roughest scenes in the country too. It's one of the hardest scenes to break into, as far as because there's just so much talent. There's just so many people here. Um, what has been your experience, um, as far as like showing up at the the open mics and and finding rooms to actually grow in comedy. You were saying that you just recently did your first uh, comedy work set. Uh, which was amazing and a lot of fun and dangerous, I think, because it could boost your ego in a way that might make you think you're better than you are. Mm -hmm. um, because people go to comedy works because they're willing to laugh. So they want to laugh, like they're paying money to go there and laugh. So they're a lot more receptive to your jokes, and uh, even if they're not that great. Um, and then you do it at places that are just rough. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like, mo like bars are, you know, that people are coming there to get drunk and forget about their problems, not hear about yours. Right. Uh, so it's really hard to, um, just get over the fact that it's not... It's not about you telling jokes, for one, um, which is something I'm glad I figured out pretty early. Cause it's like, you're not funny. People find you funny. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you have, like, any real emphasis on, like, your sense of humor, then you're just going to die. <laughs> it's going to be so bad for you. Um, but, like, I think one of my favorite experiences is there's this notoriously rough mic at uh, Squire on Tuesdays. Right. In Denver, <coughs> it's yeah. on Colfax. Everybody knows. 
the squire here in Denver. Yeah, and it's mm -hmm. you should do it if you want to do comedy because that will teach you all of the life lessons you yeah. want to know real quickly. Um, but one of the greatest times I had there, I wouldn't say I did especially well. For the life of me, I don't remember what I was talking about that night. It mm -hmm. was probably one of those because it was relatively recently. But uh, two people came up and, like, thanked me after I went up and told me I was really funny. Like, you know, not comics, just people that were drinking in the bar. I, not to interrupt you. Oh, you're good. I try to tell the young comics that um, you're right. The comedy works is full of people that paid to laugh. But if you want to be in the business of comedy, you got to learn to do the comedy works brand of comedy. You know, because that's the same brand when you leave here to go to, you know, Chuckle Fucks or, you know, Wit Swags or wherever you're going to go around the country. You know, you want to be a club comic if you want to try to make money in this business. Bar comics don't make money in this business. I mean, right. there are lots of people that can, can, can go to the Squire. I've seen them kill, you know, because they have that overpowering personality. But there's no joke there. So what do you call, like, club comedy, I guess? Exactly what you did at the Comedy Works. You did a you did a clean set in front of people that were, you know, that were ready to laugh, and you had an amazing time. And instead of thinking that it, it's it's would make you think that you're better than you are, get used to doing that crowd. That's it's not a bad thing to get laughs at the Comedy Works. It's not a bad. Well, it's thing. not bad it's, to get laughs it's, anywhere. It's, exactly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. Not, it, but. To work in this business, there are a lot of people that can work the squire. I've seen them come to the Comedy Works, and you can tell they're squires. You can tell hmm. that because you don't have to work as hard at the Comedy Works, and you shouldn't work as hard at the Comedy Works, but you shouldn't bring the squire set to the Comedy Works and expect it to work. Hmm, that's interesting. That's, I mean, that's just, that's just my opinion. I mean, I, I know people, I mean, I think that doing the squire when you're coming up and learning to, you know, it's one of those rooms that everyone should do, but you don't want to become the best squire comic. Oh, is. right. I think for me it was just more about learning how to fail. Um, yeah, you can like, eat it at, at the squire. You can yeah, definitely, you can definitely you'll learn that really well. Yeah. Um, I And also, like, the thing about doing open mics is you're doing comedy almost specifically for other comedians. Yeah, 100%. Which is not typically who's going to be seeing or paying you, I guess I should say. Like in a room full, like and it's it's a different mindset. Uh, a room full of comics versus mm -hmm. um, a room full of people that paid to come to laugh. Yeah, yeah. You know? There's a very different. Um, I like laughing at comics. I mean, I when I watch the show and the comics that make me laugh, I I, I really laugh because I I mean I'm I'm a big fan of comedy, but I I do notice that there are some comics who don't laugh at other comics and it, it might not be a problem you know as they don't think the comics funny it's just they're so into what they're getting ready to do or so into what they're doing right now yeah that, you know nothing's funny until i get this set behind me <laughs> you know? yeah and i've noticed that i i don't know for me like laughter is so like involuntary like i catch myself laughing at a lot of people's sets and that's part of why i like doing comedy is like you get to i think that's a good point that yeah. you just made too that you if you're not laughing at a good comic, it's because you're holding it back. It's yeah. Laughter's an involuntary thing. Yeah, well, like, I mean, people get so, like, I mean, there's a lot of politics in doing this, so some people don't want to, like, laugh at the wrong person or take chances laughing at someone who's new. Right. Which is dumb, but, yeah. uh, you know, it exists. And uh, I think it takes a lot for, like, older comics to, like, come up and tell you that you did a good job and I've been really fortunate to hear that and I'm always like ecstatic right. and really grateful whenever someone that I know has been doing it and has been on the road has like given mm -hmm. me that like because for a while that's really all you're gonna get <laughs> like <laughs> exactly you're right. not gonna get money you're just gonna get it's a little nod yeah that, that it's that going okay yeah that's cool that you're getting that too because yeah I, I and I you know, I think I did come up to you at Ari's and say, because yeah. You, yeah, you really stood out, really. Mm -hmm. When, when, when um, there were a couple of people that, well, a couple, three people, that um, when the bar closed and I was shutting down all the equipment and stuff, people come up and, you know, they were to talk to me about people, and you were one of the people that people really Oh, really wonderful. Liked, so I was I'm like, glad. That's, that's very, very cool. I, I, like your, I like your comedy style. I do. Thanks. What is your um, process? I mean, how do you, 
how do you get a joke? I mean, do you are you a stare at a blank piece of paper kind of person? Are you well, a schedule time to write kind of person or what? I definitely don't schedule time to write. Um, I will write whenever and however I can. I've texted myself if I think of it in the wrong setting. Uh -huh. um, I'll sit down to write when I have time to, but I'm a student <coughs> and I work and I, I do go out, so it's really hard to like find time to just sit down and do it. And a lot of times things just kind of fall onto the back burner for a long time. Mm -hmm. Like um, the very end of that, the, the alleyway story, I knew it was a really funny story. I didn't have the entire half, second half of that of like, what if he'd have been masturbating? Right, okay. Um, until maybe a few weeks ago, actually. But I've, you know, I, that, that happened to me when I was 21. So um, definitely had a while to, to ruminate <laughs> on it. Um, and I remember like just saying the story and just, it wasn't really as funny as I want it to be when I would do it at Mike's, but it never went away. So I just, kind of kind of shelved it and just like glanced at it as I would do other things and then one day that just occurred to me so I never throw anything out mm -hmm. um, and I'll write whenever possible and sometimes writing something new will help you polish something that's older now by writing something new do you sit down and um, are you a writer on paper are you a typer in a computer or are you a are you I mean if you're if you're actually physically gonna write a joke are you do you word process it? Do you write it? Do you do you have a book that you keep somewhere that's full of? I have all of those somewhere? things. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm really disorganized. I have I have two files on my computer. One is for like jokes I'm working out, and then one is for what I'm hoping to be my first hour set. Okay. Um, which only contains things that not only I've done but I've performed them. I liked the response, uh, and even that one keeps changing. Like, uh, it's constantly editorial you don't just right you don't just get to like write it and then be done with it i think i have one joke that i haven't altered but other than that like yeah the jokes are always building the yeah jokes are always building you know and you know one joke like you said will lead you into another joke or will make you think of something totally different you know a totally different way but yeah 